Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bam Fam Lamb channel. This is our step-by-step -step guide to moving to Australia, part one. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do. There's gonna be plenty more videos like this, so it stops you from missing out on any of them. So the reason we're making this video is that we're getting a lot of questions at the moment about moving to Australia and about the process. This is like a beginner's guide. If you're at the start of your immigration process, you've decided to move to Australia or you're looking into it, this is where you can find great information and hopefully get you on your way to getting your visa. So, step one. The first place that you can check to have a look at your occupation is the IMI website. So if you search occupation list for moving to Australia, IMI, then click on the link and you will find all the occupations that are on the list for moving to Australia. There's a hell of a lot of information on there. So you can find out what visas you'd be eligible for and you can find out more information about those visas. You can then, the next step, now this is exciting because you can get more information on this. You can then have a look at the ANSCO code which comes up on next to the occupation. Head over to the ANSCO search web, the website and type in your ANSCO code and it will tell you if there are any states currently nominating your occupation. And then it will also go on to tell you what qualifications you are required to get for that visa. Um, so that's a really great place to search. Those two websites, they're government websites. So they are the correct information. It's not just hearsay from anybody, it's not it's not someone's opinion of something, that is the government information. So that is the best place to source your information. Step number two, you can then go and speak to immigration agents. You don't just need to speak to one, you can speak to a few of them and just ask questions about your occupation and what would be the best visa route for you because it's all very good and well you looking on the IMI website and thinking you know but really an immigration agent is someone who has dealt with so many cases, so many immigration cases, that actually they are the best people to ask because they know, they've seen it all before. You know, they've seen it hundreds of times before. So they're fantastic people to get advice from. The most important thing that you do is make sure that the, um, the immigration agent that you speak with is MARA registered. You can check their details and check that they're MARA registered on the MARA website. I will link the details below. This is very important. We've seen a lot of people on, um, on forums that have been scammed um, by people posing as um, immigration agents and in an already stressful situation you don't need that and you don't need someone making you false promises you need someone who's going to be honest with you and someone who is registered so they are legally allowed to give you that information and they uh yeah they're, re they're registered so they're bound by rules that is very very important you can also ask for recommendations from other people that they have already used it's quite frightening to try and find an immigration agent and you don't know them and you're putting all of your trust in something that's so massive you need to you need to get recommendations and you also need to 
check these people out and make sure that they are MARA registered. But anyway, once you have found those particular immigration agents, they provide a wealth of information. They can tell you what is the best visa route for you to go down. They can tell you what's required from you and they can answer all the other questions that you may have. You may already have all of the qualifications and all of everything that you need to be able to apply for your visa and that's great but you might need to um, get more qualifications. You might have done your job for 20 years but the Australian government want you to get such and such qualification so you have to do that if you want to move to Australia. So be prepared that you might need to study a bit further to meet the needs of the visa that you're going for. But it might depend on what kind of visa you're going for as to whether you need to get further qualifications. It might be that you get a regional visa, in which case they might not be as, as strict on your qualifications and they might just require um, a certain amount of experience. That's why it's good to speak to an agent and good to find out a hell of a lot more before you commit to any kind of visa. Step is that you start doing your research as to what areas you might be open to living in. So Australia is a massive place, you know, it's pretty much the size of Europe. So you need to have a look at what areas there are, you know, have you been to Australia before? Do you know much about it? And the fact that all of Australia is not the same. Being such a big country, you know, there's down in Melbourne where it gets cold and then you've got up north where it pretty much never gets cold. Anywho, there's a lot of different things from living in a city to living rurally to living in the middle of nowhere. There's a hell of a lot of different places in Australia and they're all very different to live in. So it's worth having a look at those kind of things before you commit to an area as well. Where would you be happy to live? Can you cope with going somewhere rural? Or do you need to be in a city? That also will affect what kind of visa you go for, potentially. We understand that that might seem really overwhelming um, because not many people can travel the whole of Australia before making a decision like that. So if you feel overwhelmed, don't worry. We will be putting another video out where we tell you about the different areas of Australia and hope help you to narrow it down a bit. Number four, depending on what type of visa you're going for, which is the best option for you, you may need a job sponsorship. In which case, if you can come over here to search for a job, that's probably your best option. There might be cases where you can apply from whatever country that you are in, and they might be happy to do interviews over um, Skype or Zoom or whatever. But it, you, might find, you might find it easier by actually coming here and just really going to town on going to interviews and meeting people and speaking with people, getting to know people. It's great to make connections. Any chance you get, whether you're on holiday before you decide, make connections with people because people will be much more likely to trust you if they know you. Step number five, when you are ready to, put in your visa application. So this is the exciting part, the bit you've been waiting for for ages. You've done all your research, you have skilled up if you've needed to, you've found a job if you needed to, you are ready to go. And then you're putting your visa application in and then that's when everything calms down. <laughs> you then have to wait. So, you can search on Emmy's website and you can have a look at current visa processing times. This is really helpful because it gives you an indication of how long visas are currently taking to be granted. So at least it gives you a bit of an idea. Your visa might take less time or it may, might take longer, but at least it gives you an idea of how long visas are taking at this particular time. Step six, you're now going to wait for your visa. So, this is probably the hardest part because it takes a long time. You're completely ready to go, you're excited and you want to start your new life. Unfortunately, you have to wait, which sucks. 
But anyway, that's how it is. So take this time to think about how you are going to make the move. Do you need to sell a house? Are you going to take all your things with you? You can get quotes for moving um, if you need to get a moving company in. You can work out what you're going to do with the kids' schools, maybe start even looking at schools. There will be a part two to this video coming out next week of once you get your visa, the step-to-step -step guide. And that's the exciting time because that's when all the fun starts. Your journey begins when you get your visa. So we'll tell you more about that. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video really helpful. And if you've got any questions, as always, just drop us a comment or go to our Instagram and have a look on there. You can always send us a message on Instagram. We do our best to answer and we do our best to provide as much information as possible. And if you ask us a question that lots of people are asking or that we think would be really useful, we may even make a video on it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more of these kind of videos and also to see our family life here. Bye.